Now we continue on with the second learning objective. The second learning objective is identify factors influencing supply chain network design decisions. There are uh, several factors uh, coming into play when, uh, uh, when you have to make supply chain uh, design decisions. The first one is a strategic factor. A firm's competitive strategy has a significant impact on network design decisions within the supply chains. Firms can focus on cost leadership, tend to find the lowest cost location for their manufacturing facilities, even in, if that means locating them far from markets they serve. Electronic manufacturing service providers such as, such as Foxcom and Flex Electronics have been successful in providing low-cost electronic assembly by locating their, fer, uh, their factories in low-cost countries such as China. Uh, convenience store chains aim, uh, chains aim to provide easy access to customers as part of their competitive strategy. Convenience store networks thus include many stores that cover an area such as competitive strategy that focuses on low prices. Thus their network have large stores and customers often tend to travel many miles to get to one. Uh, the global supply chain networks can best support their strategic objectives with facilities in different countries playing different roles. For example, Zara has production facilities in Europe as well as in Asia. Its production facilities in Asia focus on low cost and primarily uh, produce standardized low value products that sell in large amounts. In European facilities focus on being responsive and primary produce cutting edge design, those demands are unpredictable. This combination of facilities allows Zara to produce a wide range, a wide variety of products in the most profitable manner. The second one is technological factors. Characteristics of available production technologies have a significant impact on supply chain design decisions. If production technology displays significant economies of scale, a few high capacity locations are more effective. This is the case in the manufacture of computer chips, for which factories require a large investment and the output is relatively inexpensive to transport. As a result, most semiconductor companies hold a few high capacity facilities. Uh, the third one, economic, macroeconomic factors, consists out of three um, uh, parts. The first one is uh, tariffs and tax and incentives. The second one is exchange rate and demand risk. The last one is freight and fuel cost. When we look in uh, tariffs and uh, tax initiatives, uh, tariffs refer to a high to I'm sorry. Tariffs refer to any duties that must be paid when products and or equipment are moved across international, state or city boundaries. Tariffs have a strong influence on location decisions within a supply chain. If a country has high tariffs, com companies either do not serve the local market or set up uh, manufacturing plants within the country to save on duties. High, ten high tariffs lead to more production locations within a supply network with each location having lower allocated capacity. 
The second one is tax incentives. Tax incentives are a reduction in tariffs or taxes that countries, states or cities often provide to uh, encourage to encourage firms to allocate their facilities in specific areas. Many countries vary incentives from city to city to encourage investments in areas with lower economic development. Such incentives are often the key factor in final location decisions for many plants. Developing countries often create free trade zones in which duties and tariffs are relaxed as long as production is used primarily for export. This creates a strong incentive for firms to set up plants in these countries to be able to exploit their low labor costs. Um, the uh, second one in the macroeconomic factors are exchange rate and demand risk. Fluctuations in exchange rate are common and have a significant impact on profits and any supply chain serving local markets. Exchange rates may be handled with financial instruments that limit or hedge against the lost due in fluctuations. Sorry. To the loss due to fluctuations. Suitability des designed Suitability designed for supply chain networks, however, often the opportunity to take advantage of uh, exchange rate fluctuations and increase profits. An effective way to do this is to build overcapacity into your network and make the capacity flexible so that it can be used to supply different markets. Uh, the last uh, um, of the four uh, uh, factors influencing the supply chain network on this slide are the polit political factors. The political stability in an order, in um, I'm sorry, the political stability in a country under consideration plays a significant role in location choice. Companies prefer to locate facilities in politically stable countries where the rules of commerce and ownership are well defined. While political risk is hard to quantify, there are some indices like the Global Political Risk Index that companies can use when investing in emerging markets. Uh, the, last, um, the last four uh, factors influencing network design decisions are infrastructure um, factors, competitive factors, customer response time and logistic cost and facility cost. Uh, logistic cost and facility cost we already covered, that was in chapter 4 if I'm not mistaken. Um, customer response time and local presence had a large, uh, uh, we already crossed in chapter 2, but now we will continue on uh, on that road. Uh, the new ones are infrastructure and competitive factors, but those are not too, uh, too complicated. Uh, the infrastructure factors, the availability of good infrastructure is an important prerequisite to locating a facility in a given area. Poor infrastructure adds to the cost of doing business from a given location. When we look into competitive uh, factors, there are two um, uh, two parts in it, uh, the positive external externalities between firms and locating to split the market. Um, first, competitive external externalities, 
externalities between firms. Positive externalities occur, externalities occur when the allocation of multiple firms benefits from all of them. Positive externalities lead to competitors locating close to each other. It's, um, it's important to have an, uh, an example with this one because um, I mentioned that it was uh, uh, sometimes a bit hard to, to understand. Uh, for example, retail stores tend to locate close to each other because doing so, retail stores make, make it more convenient for customers who need to drive to only one location to find everything they're looking for. This increases the total number of customers to visit the mall, increasing demand for less stores located there. Uh, another uh, excellent example is uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is a uh, region in uh, just south of San Francisco. There are many high technology uh, firms uh, based there. Um, firms like um, uh, Facebook, Google, but also uh, app builders like uh, WhatsApp and uh, Instagram was also created there, and it still is, but it's now part of, um, of, uh, of Facebook. Um, in that region, the companies tend to have positive externalities, externalities uh, between them, because uh, there is a need for highly qualified, highly skilled uh, work and for highly skilled laborers and those highly skilled laborers are all in that uh, in that region in other words the resources um, are all available in that region are all available in uh, in um, uh, in silicon valley um, the, se the second one is locating to split the market. Please imagine yourself as uh, this line is a group of people uh, from one till zero, from here all the way to here. And there are two um, retailers. There's a retailer A, and there is retailer 1 minus B. The amount of customers that um, retailer A will receive is from point 0 to point A. And the amount the, uh, the retailer at 1 minus B will receive is from 1 minus B to one. The customers in between here, they are evenly split. So it's 50-50%. 50% goes to A and 50% goes to B. So if they want to split the market evenly, and if they do not want the other to increase market share, it's best to locate um, both retailers at the center point, so at halfway. But when you locate your, your retail shop at the center, then the customers from this side and from the other side here all have to travel here to the center point and as this uh, as these customers are evenly divided between one and zero the average uh, travel time from the center to here is half uh, i'm sorry it's 
uh, a quarter, one fourth. The same is for this pun. As there is a customer here at this spot, there is also a customer at this spot. So when you um, when you uh, when there is an average, the average is about here. Again, at one quarter of the continuum. If um, uh, travel is important and if uh, uh, distance to the shop is important, then you can decide to transfer your retail shop from here to here. So from half, point half, to point three quarters. That's here. Then the market is still split evenly as your con as your retail shop is now here this bit of the market goes to your uh, shop as is also this bit of the market um, we assume that the, the oh that the let's go back let's go back yeah let's assume that the other retail shop is also at one quarter. Then the transportation cost for the customers is a lot less. Um, but when you have your uh, retail shop here at one at uh, three third, your competitor is here at one third, he or you can decide to locate an other shop here at A. And when you locate another shop here at A, that means that you having this retail shop will pick up this bit of the market. And as you also have here a retail shop, you will also pick up this big this bit of the market. Your competitor is still here you also scoop away 50% of the customers here. So, what, uh, what tells us this is that uh, there are a lot of competitive factors that uh, come into play when we're talking about um, uh, location. When you locate your facility all here at half, then the transportation costs are high. When you locate your uh, shops near to the customer, when you locate them here, then the costs could potentially be lower. But then the risk of your competitor uh, scooping up your market share will also increase. So that is an um, uh, a choice you as a you as a company have to make. Um, the uh, um, that is the customer response time and local presence. Uh, the last one is logistics and facility cost. The logistics and facility cost we already covered in chapter 4 so we will not go into that very extensively now um, that's that's it for uh, learning objective uh, number two learning objective number two is identify factors influencing supply chain network design decisions